Hey YouTube, this is Hobbyman360 and today I wanted to share with you my EDC bag. Now this video was actually inspired by a YouTuber by the name of CapTactical66. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel in the video down below. Uh, he commented on my EDC video and I went and checked out his channel. He did an EDC bag dump. I thought it was a good idea so I thought hey, I did my EDC, why not uh, dump my EDC bag. So here we go. This is a... Uh, uh, Walmart special Molly bag. Anybody who's been back in their camping section, I'm sure recognizes it. It's got uh, Molly on the, the outside with some really good pouches. Uh, it's got a water bottle pouch on one side and uh, and it has a zipper pouch on the other. A couple outside pockets. Um, it's got the sunglasses and electronics pouch up on the top, which I thought was uh, actually pretty nice. I keep my uh, headlamp and my uh, under or my pistol mounted light in there uh, along with uh, my spare batteries so it's got some good pockets on the inside for keeping things kind of separated out uh, and it will carry the stuff that I have that I'm going to show you and then uh, usually at the end of the day instead of trying to dump my pockets into a, a drawer or a bowl I like to dump my pockets into the bag that way if I need to I can grab this bag I got my EDC and any of my extra stuff in here I can just take off. So with that, I also have a uh, phone charger, an extra phone charger. This is my main one, but this is one I just keep in here because my phone's always dying. Uh, I use my phone quite a bit. I also keep some headphones in there uh, just in case I'm in a situation where I'm bored and I need to listen to something. I don't necessarily like playing phone games. Uh, without Wi-Fi, but I've got uh, Audible on my phone and uh, Pandora I'll listen to. That way, uh, like I said, Skull Candy headphones, I like the product. Uh, they've been good to me, so I have a couple pairs of these. But these live in my EDC bag. I also keep a small USB drive in there just in case I need to download something, uh, especially to take it and get printed off. I used it a lot more when I was teaching classes, uh, carry classes and, and firearms classes, but these days it just kind of hangs out in the bag with nothing on it. Uh, now, I'm a woodworker, so I also keep a couple of uh, woodworking type tools. I have a just a small uh, tape measure just in case I see a piece of furniture or something that I, I want to measure and get some ideas from. I also keep uh, a uh, carpenter's pencil in there, easy to sharpen with any of my knives, a pen and a sharpie. You never know when you're going to have to write something down. I don't really keep a notepad in there. Um, I probably should. Eventually, I'll, I, I might add that in this bag. Now, I just picked up the uh, Storm Cell battery carrier. I keep uh, my 123s uh, in there. I keep enough for my uh, pistol mounted light and my uh, EDC light, which is the stream light that I talked about in my EDC video. Uh, so far, I've been happy with this. I've been trying to figure out a good way of carrying my batteries. And uh, so far, like I said, I, I like this. Eventually, I'll probably get several more of these carriers uh, just because they're handy and put some on my gear and a, and a couple other bags. Uh, now, this is something It's just a, a small 7-power magnifier. I've had this in my EDC bag since before I really understood what EDC was, so probably 10, 15 years almost, eh, about 10 years. Uh, but anyway, I've got this in there. Uh, I've never used it for anything, but it's almost like one of those good luck charms. It just kind of goes from bag to bag to bag, and uh, so I held on to it. Now, one thing that I do keep in my bag that, surprisingly enough, I, I got it just because I thought, hey, just in case, and I actually use it. Uh, I keep a small hygiene kit in my EDC bag. Uh, frequently, um, like I'll jam my finger, break a thumbnail or, or whatever, and I like being able to cut that off and not sit there and bite at it. I mean, I'll, I'm not above biting my nails, but to, to keep it from bugging me, I keep a fingernail clipper in there, or a toenail clipper. Hey, sometimes you break, or you need to cut a toenail too. I also keep a toothbrush, just a travel toothbrush and travel toothpaste in there. I actually ended up forgetting my toothbrush and toothpaste in my hygiene kit when I was out of town this last weekend, and hey, I had this with me just because I had my EDC bag. So, anyway, I like to keep that in there. And then I have a boo boo kit. 
Uh, this is the one dollar Johnson and Johnson uh, travel kits that you get at Walmart. Uh, I have them in all my bags. They're handy. I don't have anything extra in this one, uh, like I did in the uh, hiking bag video. But this, in and of itself, is it's just handy to have and it's cheap. If I use something out of there, I can throw the whole thing away and go get another one. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, also, for kind of utilitarian type stuff. I have my pistol mounted light that I keep in there, and like I said, I have an extra set of batteries for this in there. Uh, I also keep a headlamp in my bag. Uh, I like being able to do things hands-free uh, in the dark, so I have my headlamp that I keep. I don't keep spare batteries in here for this yet, uh, which is another reason I need to get some more of those battery carriers, and then I'll get some uh, AAA batteries and carry those. Uh, I keep some 550 cord. I know I'm, I'm a big fan of the uh, bank line, but for this, I just for this, this bag, I keep 550 cord. It's versatile enough, and I, I use it quite a bit, so I kept with that. I also keep about uh, six feet of uh, Gorilla Tape wrapped up. Comes in handy for fixing things, and I mean, yeah, anybody who's watching this video probably knows what this can be used for. I also keep a pair of gloves in there. Uh, this is actually a pair of gloves that uh, one was on deployment with me when I was in the Marine Corps. Uh, and I just, I like the gloves. I put them in this bag just to have, just in case I need a, a pair of gloves for whatever reason. And uh, then I have a bandana. Use it for a ton of different things. Bandages, uh, sweat, whatever. I just kept it in there. I kind of keep one in all my kits. And then the just-in-case I don't have something to keep me out of the rain. I have a poncho and then uh, like several of my other kits I went ahead and put an emergency blanket in here just because uh, it's shelter and warmth if I need it. Now this piece of kit that I keep in my everyday carry bag is a blowout kit from Voodoo Tactical. Uh, it's basically my emergency trauma kit that I, I carry around with me. I, I have something very similar to this that I take to the range with me. But this is the one that hangs out in my bag. So, uh, like I said, it's from Voodoo Tats Gold. It's actually set up for Molly and it has the tearaway uh, Velcro on the back. On the outside, I keep uh, some nitrile gloves or some extra nitrile gloves as well as some band-aids. Uh, is kind of an extra little boo-boo thing. On the inside, uh, when you pull it open, I keep uh, some two packs of compressed gauze that I can use to pack a wound, as well as two uh, uncompressed packs of gauze. I also keep some medical tape and a quick little uh, thing of nitrile gloves that I keep right on top so I can just pull it open and put those on. Uh, as well as, now for bandages, I don't have an Israeli bandage in this. Uh, the emergency medical medical classes that I took here locally actually ha uh, suggest using uh, these compression wraps. So these are a six inch compression wrap that I have that you can, uh, you know, pack the pack a wound and then put some gauze on it and then wrap these compression wraps around and and make a, a pretty decent compression bandage. Now I also have some. Uh, trauma shears here as well to you know cut clothing or bandages or whatever off. I also have two tourniquets. Uh, this is a suggestion by the uh, instructor of the trauma class that I took uh, because he had actually just I think it was the week before he gave the class uh, actually put a tourniquet on somebody that was that had a leg injury that was bleeding out and uh, the first one did not stop the blood so he had to put a second one on. And that got me thinking, all right, well, I have the room, I'll carry a second, uh, a second tourniquet. So I have two tourniquets, and then I also have uh, two uh, emergency uh, space blankets that I can use to basically keep somebody warm. Well, I hope you like this look into my EDC bag. Don't forget to check out Cap Tactical 66 YouTube channel. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.